Welcome back everyone. In the previous video, we learned about how to get the post data by creating the custom WordPress REST API. And we were able to get all of the post data like your ID title excerpt, images, categories, author data, etc. And in this video, we're going to learn further uh, about how to get the number of found uh, number of posts that are there um, as well as the page number, how many pages are available. Uh, depending on the number of posts that are there okay and then we will move on to um, react wherein we will fetch all of this data with the help of the wordpress rest api the custom endpoint that we've created and then we're going to also do pagination on the react on the front end okay awesome let's go and get started so where we were earlier is we use this function to get all of the data and we were able we were returning this now what we're going to do is also say found posts and all I have to do is just say latest post IDs and then found posts and that's it. So we'll just say found posts and that should give me the count of the posts that are available. For this post type so let's refresh let's check there you go so i've got 78 posts available in my wordpress uh, database for for this uh, post basically okay <clears throat> now what we need is basically how many pages would that be so if you do manual calculation if you divide 78 by 9 you will get uh, like 8 point something so they should ideally be nine pages but we won't be calculating manually right so the system needs to calculate it. So how do we do it? So what we're going to do is we will go ahead and create a function. I mean, we can write the code directly here as well, but it's better to break these into pieces. Just makes it easier for readability and for debugging as well. So let's name this function as calculate page count. It's going to need some of the parameters. First is total found post we already have that data if you remember we just talked about it and then we also need the post for a page which means how many pages are we showing for so that you can calculate that information okay and this is going to return that information okay so how we're going to do is we'll say first we want the integer so i'm just going to use int so that whatever data we get it's going to be an integer we don't want string and we're going to do total found post divided by post per page which is these two data okay and then so if you if you divide that for example if you divide this what would you get so let's say 78 divided by 9 right so you'll get 8 and then some remainders so you need to add the remainder as well right so we'll say plus and we use the modulus operator and we'll say total found posts Oops. modulus which gives me the remainder post per page so if there is a remainder add only one page if there isn't don't add any pages so what what would this mean this would mean that if you divide this, we're going to get number 8. Okay, we'll get 8. And then we'll check. Once we divide this, do we have a remainder? So this model is going to uh, you know, give you a remainder. So if there's a remainder, it's going to give you that remainder. So if it's clearly divisible, for example, if this was like 90, this is clearly visible. We directly get 10. Uh, what is 9 multiplied by 9? Yeah, so if this was, for example, 81, and it's clearly divisible, there would be no remainder, which means there's just nine pages. However, if there is a remainder, definitely we need to add one more page. Now, the remainder could be one, two, three. It will always be less than nine. Okay, just going to add that page. All right, so this is going to do the work for us. If not, then don't add anything. Okay, awesome. So all we have to do is just call this function. 
Okay, so we can put that here. So we can say that page count is equal to, we'll call this function, calculate page count. And since this is a class method, it will be called with the help of this. And it's going to need the page number. And then it's also going to need the, okay, it's going to need the total found post. So we already have that. And it's going to need the post per page. Do we have that? Here it is. Okay. So this is post per page. And now we just put this page count here. Page count. And that's it. Now let's go back. Let's refresh. Oops. This is something wrong. Page number. Oh, sorry. Post per page is nine, actually. Okay. In fact, let's do this. Let's go ahead and put that here so that's easy and we can change that one place post per page is equal to nine let's set that to nine and we're just going to use that reuse it okay so put that here put that here let's refresh and there you go you've got nine awesome if you want to test it if you increase the number to 90 or or let's say 80 yep 90 is fine let's see what you get so you get 10 pages right awesome that means works if you make it 91 what do you expect yes you're right 11 pages there you go awesome which means our function is working perfectly fine and we've got everything we need. We just need to handle some errors and then we just return that data, which we're already doing, but just handle some errors. So we go come back to our callback handler, which is right here, right now. And then over here, we're gonna check if not is WP error, uh, which is post data, post data, okay. So not okay. So we have this post data, found post, and page count that is being returned with this get post method, right? That's what it's returning over here. And that's what we are checking. If it's not a WP error, and not empty, so posts not empty. Post data. What's the name? Post data actually. Okay, then and only then we will put the response. Response status to be 200. Remember, response is something which we have set as an empty array so that we can push all of the data and the response and just return the response over here. So why don't we just do that? Okay, so now we've started to add data to our response, okay? Next thing, we'll add the post data. So I'll just say response post data is equal to post data yep okay then what is the found post so found posts which is this post data found post again response um, so we have the page count, of course, we need to put the page count as well. Post data. 
page count. What else do we need? Um, yeah, I think that's about it. Okay, all right. Brilliant, and we handle the error also. So in case if there's any error, so if the posts not found, then we already got our error object. So we're just gonna say error, add, and error status code 406, and we just put a message saying posts not found. Rest API. So text domain and points. Okay. And then just return the error, which means that if there's any error, it's not going to reach this statement. It's just going to return the error. Actually, we don't need to check this because if you check post data over here is actually the post result which we are generating okay so we don't need to check this right here we just check if not empty post data okay refresh there you go it's working Awesome, and I just changed this found post back to earlier. I put that number 90, I changed that back to found post. Okay, so everything is working fine, it's working great. Uh, if you check, we're getting the page count, etc. Let's see if we make an error. Uh, let's see if we put remove S over here and see what happens. There you go, you say no doubt was found. Okay, and let's say we're on the page number two put page number two and there you go now you have the other nine posts okay awesome great so congratulations guys uh, we have already uh, you know created our custom endpoint and you could see how simple it was to create one and we all set we're all ready to jump onto react and create the pagination and display all of this lovely post and all of the data that we've just generated with and access that with the help of our custom REST API endpoint. Isn't that brilliant? Awesome. So if you do like the video, please give a thumbs up and do subscribe to my channel if you haven't already. And uh, follow me on Twitter. This is my Twitter handle, Imran H. Sayyad. And uh, also follow me on uh, GitHub. If you need more information, if you want to learn more about WordPress, you can find me here at Coditech. Uh, dot com and you'll be able to get different types of courses that are available okay so i will see you in the next video and we will talk about creating the uh, pagination uh, and displaying all of the posts with react see you then take care bye, -bye.